Hey everyone, welcome to Complin for June the 24th, 2020. Today is the feast of John the Baptist, and it is also day number 100 of Complin! Yay! So feel free to add, uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Oh, I'm not sure what that says in apparently Hebrew. Feel free to play with your filters. Well, welcome everybody. Um, appreciate you joining in. Can get rid of these masks. Hey, Kara and Mike, blessings to you. Uh, Karen, nice to see ya. Barbara, peace to you, sister. Kara and Mike, hello again. Give you a wave. Tiffany, peace to you, sister. Hey, Heidi, long time no see. Good to see ya. Katika, thanks for joining us. Blessings to you as always. Yeah, keeping it 100. <laughs> Mom, blessings to you. Dan, peace brother. Dan, you're, um, there's several of you here tonight that have been, I would say, if not for the whole 100, pretty darn close. So thank you. Definitely couldn't have done it without your encouragement along the way. Hi, cousin. Robin, peace to you. We're, we're uh, representing at least three provinces tonight. Blessings to you, Tammy. Uh, well, let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and minds. And we begin as it at is, puh, puh, puh. We begin as it is good and wise to begin all things under the care of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I had my little Prayer mark here. Here we go. Um, yeah, here we go. John the Baptist. Don't look now. Someone's about to join us. It's... It's me, but I'm getting a glass of wine also. <laughs> it's that kind of compliment. It is that kind of day. That kind of day, Tessa says. It has been a long day, but a beautiful day in many respects. Um, so hopefully for you, hopefully you can say the same. Tess was on call last night, all night. It's been a 14 or so hour day for several of us. So, But that's good. You know what? Those long days are awesome when, they're, when the work is worthy. Rebecca, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm just reminded Heidi's greeting our Australian friends. Um, I don't see Ron and Joanne on here, but I'm just reminded, it's worth pointing out sometimes, that I see sort of a steady stream of comments and I'll, I get a sense of who's here through those, but the way the algorithm works, I don't always see all the comments until after the fact. So um, if I ever miss greeting you, please um, know that we're not um, shunning you or otherwise like trying to leave anybody out it's just the way the algorithm works blame the algo so here's our prayer for john the bap the feast of john the baptist almighty god by your gracious providence your servant john the baptist was born to elizabeth and zechariah grant to your people the wisdom to see your purpose 
and the openness to hear your will, that the light of Christ may increase in us through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uh, so our psalm tonight is psalm number 71. Do you want to read the psalm tonight? Sure. Okay. And our thought we would try. I should have looked to see if there was a special. Anybody have a favorite John the Baptist theme hymn? Um, I wasn't thinking of that when I chose the hymn. I was just going slowly, but... Uh, well, let's sing, let's sing 608, Softly and Tenderly, Jesus is Calling, for our hymn tonight. Yeah, it's good to have you back, Tess. Thanks. To know, I'm glad to see that the people are polite and not saying, like, bring back Zephira. Yeah, or, she is more fun. Yeah, or like... Okay, Phil, your turn to take a night off. Bring back Sephira and Tessa. <laughs> All right, here we go. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning your truth at the close of the day. By day, O oh God, you grant your steadfast love, and at night your song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. Friends, uh, let's take a moment to confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. I invite you to join in. Uh, because there's two of us, we'll alternate. Join in. You can follow either Tessa or I as you're moved. We'll try to read slowly so you can catch the lines. And then we'll take turns uh, sharing the absolution. So maybe some of you could follow the absolution when Tessa leads it and some of you when I lead it. And feel free to uh, absolve others in your home. Um, it is, there's something about ending the day with confession. And never just confession, uh, an awareness of our shortcomings, but always the absolution and the assurance um, that although we can never make a full con confession, we're just never fully aware of the harm and the, um, the impact that our sin has had in the, the world on a given day. Um, so, and so we lean all the more on that assurance that it's, it's God's grace that leads us deeper into an awareness and an ability to be for one another. Welcome, Jamie. I confess to God Almighty before the whole company of heaven and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned by my own fault in thought, word, and deed I pray God Almighty to have mercy on me, forgive me all my sins, and bring me to everlasting life. Almighty and merciful God, grant you healing, pardon, and forgiveness of all your sins. Amen. Amen. I confess to God Almighty before the whole company of heaven, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned by my own fault in thought, word, and deed. I pray God Almighty to have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sins and bring me to everlasting life. Almighty and merciful God, grant you healing, pardon, and forgiveness of all your sins. Amen. Amen. Hey, Vanessa. Vanessa. Welcome. Yep, now I've done it. I got rid of our little chat. Haha. <laughs> -ha. I was going to say, can you drag it back in this way? <laughs> Brief moment of uh, Gen Xer panic as we reach up against our 
technological limitations. You got it? Yeah. Wait, 71, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In you, O Lord, I have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb, you have been my strength. My praise shall be always with you. I have become important to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, pursue and seize that one whom God has forsaken, because there is none who will save. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. May my accusers be put to shame and waste away. Let those who seek my misfortune be engulfed by scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience and shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long, though I cannot know their number. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. Now that I am old and gray-headed, O God, do not forsake me, till I make known your strength to this generation and your power to all who are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. You have done great things. Who is like you, O God? You have shown me great troubles and adversities, but you will restore my life and bring me up again from the deep places of the earth. You, you strengthen me more and more. You enfold and comfort me. Therefore, I will praise you upon the lyre. For your faithfulness, O oh my God, I will sing to you with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing with joy when I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness all day long, for they are shamed and disgraced who sought to do me harm. Amen. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. Though we have sinned, he has mercy and pardon. Pardon for you and for me. So come home, come home, you who are weary, come home. Softly and tenderly Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home, you who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, O oh sinner, come home. Why should we tarry when Jesus is pleading, pleading for you and for me? Why should we linger and heed not his mercies, mercies for you and for me? Come home, come home, you who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling. Calling, O oh sinner, come home. Oh, for the wonderful love he has promised, 
promised for you and for me. Though we have sinned, he has mercy and pardon, pardon for you and for me. Come home, come home, come home. You who are weary, come home. Earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling. Calling, O sinner, come home. Thanks for singing with me. You're welcome. <laughs> See, little wine, she's a great singer. I hate singing. <laughs> That's not true. If we just sang more <laughs> Boney M during the church service. It's not, I love singing, but I don't like it when other people hear me singing. That's all. Fair enough. Fair so, enough. So when you went to do the harmonies, I was like, you tricked me. <laughs> you threw me under the bus. <laughs> I don't, Heidi can attest, <laughs> I never throw anyone under the bus. I will, however, often say, look at this bus. Isn't it interesting? Would you like to look under the bus with me? Would you like to take a closer look? <laughs> Do not worry says Matthew 6, uh, says Jesus in Matthew 6, do not worry, saying, what will we eat, or what will we drink, or where will we sleep tonight, when our <laughs> spouses locks out of the bath bedroom. <laughs> uh, do not worry about what will we wear. Indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the dominion and the righteousness of God, and all these things will be given to you. So do not worry about tomorrow. And in 1 Peter 5, we hear, Humble yourselves under God's mighty hand, so that God may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on the one who cares for you. Discipline yourselves and keep alert. For like a roaring lion, your adversary the devil prowls around looking for someone to devour. Resist the devil, steadfast in your faith. We sing together our uh, responsory hymn. Uh, your part goes like this. Into your hands I command my spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit into your hands O oh lord i command my spirit into your hands i command my spirit you have redeemed me O oh lord god of truth into your hands I command my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a lie to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us, sleeping, 
that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Oops, there we go. Friends, for what and for whom shall we pray this night? Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. Lord, we pray tonight giving thanks for this day. For the labor of it, for the rest of it, for the difficult pieces and the joy-filled fun pieces, and for your faithfulness in attending and dwelling with us through it all and in it all. We pray this night with Kathy and Riley as they sleep and rest anticipating Riley's surgery tomorrow. We pray for Riley that you would give him a deep peace and sense of security being held in your arms. We pray for the surgeons, nurses, care aides, porters, cleaners, and administrators in the hospital, Lord, that uh, you would stir up in each of them in their own way the gifts you've bestowed upon them and the call uh, which you have given them to healing arts and to the aid of the sick and the, the needy. So we pray in this way, Lord, that you would make providence for Riley's uh, successful surgery and quick and complete healing. We trust in your will to be done over him. In the meantime, we pray with Kathy, and through Kathy, with all parents, all caregivers uh, who wait and watch, whether it be for tests to be returned uh, or prognoses confirmed, whether they wait for surgery to be completed or the long, slow healing uh, to be fulfilled. We pray that they would know all along the way your deep and abiding love. God, our creator, by your holy prophet Jeremiah, you taught your ancient people to seek the welfare of the cities in which they lived. We commend our neighborhood to your care, that it might be kept free from social strife and, de and decay. Give us strength of purpose and concern for others, that we may create here a community of justice and peace, where your will may be done. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Mm -hmm. We pray, giving thanks with Barbara tonight, celebrating 100 days of shared prayer, of real community formed in virtual spaces. And what that's teaching us, Lord, about how you are calling us to be church in this time and place. Um, we give thanks for the daily now expressions of care, the mutual prayers, the people reaching out offline and across provincial boundaries to do acts of kindness for one another. Such a sign of hope in this time when we deeply need to know, Lord, your, your love embodied in your people. We give thanks for faithful leadership in this time. We pray for all, uh, all the people in our various faith communities, Lord, who have been charged with roles of discerning if and when and how to reopen. Lord, we pray that you would help us to hold in tension uh, the need to be bold and give witness through our actions and words to 
the great hope that we have in you, that we need not no longer fear illness uh, or unfavorable opinion or even death. Help us to hold that boldness in tension, creative tension with the forbearance and the restraint that comes from a deep and abiding love for our neighbors and for the most vulnerable in our midst. We pray with Tammy this night, giving thanks for this evening and the sun of the evening, for prayers of healing that are spoken for pain re relief. We pray with Dan for Graham and his parents. We pray with By your power, great God, our Lord Jesus healed the sick and gave new hope to the hopeless. Though we cannot command or possess your power, we pray for those who want to be healed. Mm. Mend their wounds, soothe fevered brows, and make broken people whole again. Help us to welcome every healing as a sign that, though death is against us, you are for us and have promised renewed and risen life in Jesus, the, in Jesus Christ the Lord. Lord, we want to pray with Terry uh, for his wife, Barbara, and through Barbara for all who suffer with chronic nerve pain. We lift up also uh, Papa Howie. Lord, that you would grant relief from that pain, that you would grant uh, understanding uh, healthcare providers and healers specialists in pain management. Grant us empathy, Lord, for something that is so difficult for all of us who've never experienced nerve pain to, to comprehend, let alone understand. We pray, Lord, that you would give uh, Howie and Barbara a connection to the great hope that we have in you, Lord, that no experience, uh, whether fleeting or chronic can threaten our identity so secured in you through your birth and life and death upon the cross and resurrection, O Christ. Grant that that hope would take root and push out, crowd out uh, the pain that threatens to gobble their joy. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of life may find our rest in you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or wait wait or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep tend the sick give rest to the weary bless the dying soothe the suffering comfort the afflicted and shield the joyous and all for your love's sake amen lord jesus remember us as you usher in your kingdom and teach us to pray our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, a mighty and merciful God, who is Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Good night, friends. Rest well. Tomorrow is a new day. We pray that you will uh, have joy and meaning and endurance. We need all of those things these days, and we need each other. So be good to one another in service to God. Good night, Jason and Amanda. Thanks for being here. Blessings, Tammy. Good night. Good night, Carrie and Curtis and Tyler. Good night, Carrie. Good night, Rebecca. Sorry, Rebecca, I just seen your prayer slipped in at the end here. We're definitely continuing to pray for um, all our children and parents and teachers. Yeah, making decisions about what the fall looks like. And what what the summer looks like frankly mm -hmm. it's a ever evolving thing blessings to you Chris and Danielle that's Danielle from church cool. blessing, yeah and these are her little children <laughs> blessings to you Wilma and Brian good night Jan good night Barbara Good night, Eric and Courtney. Good night, Heidi. Good night, Kristen. Good night, Sherry. Good night, Myrna. Good night, Vanessa. Good night, Jamie. And Heidi. Good night, Ellie. Good night, Rose. And Dave. Good, good night, night. Katika. We got them. Mm -hmm. oh, good night, Rita. Good night, Robin. So many people here tonight. That's <laughs> awesome. Thanks, everybody. Good to worship with you all. Good night, Thanks, Tiffany God. and Kara and Mike. Should we read them a bedtime story? Should I read you a bedtime story? Maybe. Do you want to turn the fire off before yeah. I faint? Yeah. All right, friends. Oh, Mo Willems. Well, we read a Mo Willems story the other night. Uh, the duckling gets a cookie. And I said to you that uh, you have to watch out for... Mo Willems' Piggy and Elephant series. Oh. Piggy and Gerald. Piggy and Gerald, yes. Um, and as you, see, you can see the packing tape on the spine. Uh, this book is well worn. So what should we read here tonight? What's a good bedtime story of these? Let's see. They're also good. None of them are good bedtime stories. Yeah. Hilarious. Okay. Uh, to page 250. So we're going to read for you tonight. <laughs> I might be up all night reading these stories now. It's been a while since I looked at this one. So this one is called... This one's called, I really like slop. 
Not to be confused with I really like slap. I am not giving you permission. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'd like to pretend that there is some kind of existential moral to this story. It's just a lot of fun to read. It is also a tasteful classic. <laughs> Gerald's the pig, right? No. Gerald's the elephant. Piggy. Gerald and Piggy. Piggy is the pig. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> I thought it might, he might be ironically no, named. it's not ironically okay. named. It's Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> I really like slop. Do you want to read Gerald or Piggy? Sure. Okay. No, you just read it because I can't <laughs> see it from over here. Okay, it's hard. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gerald. Oh, hi, Piggy. Yikes! What is that? This is slop. Uh, slop? Yummy, yum, yum, yummy slop. Yummy, you eat that? <laughs> sure, I eat this. Pigs really, 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 really like slop. Eating slop is basically part of pig culture. Oh, I see. Uh, should I, should it smell like that? What about all those flies? The flies are how we know how ripe it is. <laughs> Do you want to try my slop? Um, we're... Do I want to try your... Hmm, slop, hmm. No way! Walk, 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 walk. <gasps> Piggy, wait. Yes, Gerald? Uh, I, oh, I, I will try your slop. Yay! Maybe you will really like the slop. Um, maybe. Try a big taste. Um, I will try a very small taste. That is a small taste. You are so close to trying slop. You're even closer. Closer. <gasps> you tried it. <laughs> Spicy, eh?
Do you know how I get that old shoe taste? Old shoes! So, do you really like slop? Um... No. I do not really like slop. But I am glad I tried it. Because I do really like you. Oh, Gerald. Dessert? Don't push your luck, bub. <laughs> and there's the pigeon. He says, not bad. Good night.